big game in that first half. When he goes out, how much did that impact what the defense was doing? Yeah, he was having uh, he was having a, very, a really good game. Um, would have anticipated him to continue doing that. We were able to get him one on one against the safeties a number of times, um, and he won those battles. So uh, Jamari came in, did a really good job for us. Um, but you know, when you when you lose a, a top receiver like that, yeah, it, it affects you. And then when you um, we talked about this uh, after the Charlotte, just the short yardage situations uh, and just getting that those extra yards. Obviously, Mario Anderson has, has been great for you guys. Just but how much is not having Brandon Thomas? You know. Yeah, yeah, and that, I mean, ultimately we got to execute, ultimately I got to make a different call. Uh, we're in your results business and we don't get it, I got to make a different call. So, yes, uh, <clears throat> it'd be good to have those guys there, but the call's got to be based off of who we have and what we can do. We, you know, I felt we could get it. Um, you know, we just need to execute it and, again, have to make a better call. Is that a point where now, looking at the past two games, when you end up in a situation like that on fourth down, you're going to think about not doing those types of plays? Um, yeah, we'll make the call based off what's going on in the in the game that's going on at this point, and the personnel that's in the game. Yes. Um, when you look at what happened in the third quarter with the offense, just kind of stalling, what what changed at that point? Uh, yeah, we uh, very poor execution and very poor uh, focus. You know, we had uh, sacks, we had uh, five false start penalties, um, which is self-inflicted wound penalties. That's not you know sometimes you get called for holding, and sometimes you get called because your hand slides up and hits someone in the face. That stuff kind of happens. False start penalties are. Uh, Complete lack of focus that we can't do. Put ourselves in that uh, in that law. We put ourselves in uh, third and more than twelve uh, four times. Um, that, those are those are tough conversions in that situation. Sacks got us off course. We turned the ball over twice in that course. Um, so we uh, obviously need to execute and focus better in those in those but situations. At that point in the game, in the second half, not not a lot of run plays. Was part of that because you were behind the stick? Yeah, you chase him. Is that I, sorry? Ideally, would you have liked to run the ball more? Um, yeah, I would have liked, you, you always want to run the ball. Um, but you get in the point of chasing, you get in the point of being in, in second and long, third and long. Um, run plays don't do, do a whole lot for you at that point. And then Seth mentioned the, the noise in the stadium, just being in the dome, how much did that impact the, the offense? The yeah, more than, it, more than it should have. More than it should have. We practice those situations. Um, but you know, we, again, that's just a it's just a focus deal. We played in loud atmospheres before, um, and we got to be better at, at focusing on those those situations. How do you correct those things, especially with those penalties? But you're a home game, right? So you're not expecting the same thing, probably. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's again, it's it's practice, it's practicing, it's having the uh, the noise at practice, it's uh, over communicating, it's getting guys back dialed in, um, it's getting back to calling you know simpler plays, maybe. Um, all that type of stuff, but uh, you know we have some things the scout team's doing this week, uh, which is uh, part of the reason why we were jumping. Um, so we're just practicing those situations to uh, to avoid them. Speaking of practicing and, and looking at Rice, what are you seeing out of their defense? Uh, they're a really good defense. I think they're ranked second defense in the con in the conference uh, behind, I believe, it's only Army. Uh, they're tough. They're physical. Uh, they play with their hair on fire, and they're where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. So it's uh, it's as good of a defense we're going to see all year long.